Welcome guys, welcome. My name is Dan's Tactic, welcome to the channel. Welcome to this one-off video. We're gonna be looking at Headquarters World War II, which comes out next week, uh, time of recording. And so uh, this is gonna be a live stream, but I'm doing it basically to show off what the game has got as well, because uh, it is incredibly impressive. Um, it's getting, it's, I was impressed with the base game, like with the base game elements. Um, it's a very much an entry level war game. So it's a game that if you are not sure whether you want to get into war games, like, you know, the full on little little tokens and stuff like that, this game probably is the uh, is a game that you would enjoy playing because it's, it's graphically really quite nice. Uh, but also just the mechanics um, and also the <laughs> the random maps are, um, are, uh, are not what I was expecting. Uh, in terms of, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. So I thought I'd go through and play a random game, uh, just so you can sort of see what that is. I'll just go through what the game has got. So we've got um, like uh, three different campaigns which, which are playable. And so you've got like essentially the United States, United Kingdom and Germany. So each of these have got their own campaign, uh, like a, um, a rolling campaign essentially, uh, that you then sort of can go through uh, mission by mission. So this is fully scripted. And this is um, probably the way that the game was originally designed to be played. So that you know there is there are certain things when you when you get to a certain area on the map, it's going to then trigger other elements. So very much like the uh, older sort of style games, a bit like uh, Panzer Corps One. You know, like not Panzer Corps Two so much, but Panzer Corps One certainly had these triggers. Panzer Corps Two has as well with their scripted missions. But um, anyway, this is um, this is the campaigns which is great uh you know this is all fine it's um one thing that is disconcerting is when you do play as the as the germans and i i know that they won't get this done <laughs> in any time soon but the um the germans have all got british accents and so that is very very off-putting when you're um when you're trying to play it it doesn't sound like you're playing as the germans when you are playing as the germans we will probably will play as the germans i mean they've um i, I do enjoy playing uh you know the the germans in the uh, in the world war ii uh, style game. So, anyway, let's. Uh, let, but that's the campaigns. So I'll just do a quick sort of summary as to what they actually are. Uh, skirmish is what we're going to be playing. There's also multiplayer as well. And where this is cool, I, I know a lot of people actually who um, you know, who want to be playing multiplayer often ask for a hot seat mode. And this game would be good as a hot seat game. It's not an onerous uh, war game, like you know, like and it is a. At its, at its core, it is a war game, but it's, it's based on tiles, not hexes, which actually works fairly well in this game. Like, uh, normally I would prefer hexes with, you know, war gamey type games, but um, in this case, the tiles work fine, as you'll sort of see when we get into the actual game itself. But you do actually have, um, uh, like, you, once you sort of log in, and this is, uh, by the way, this, this version I'm playing is a preview version. There are some things that aren't quite there yet. Uh, with the version that we're that we're playing with, but overall it's it's pretty it's pretty good. Um, then we've got uh, play by email and live as well, so you can, you can actually then just just log into your Slytherin account and uh, and play games that way. As I say before, the the um, games aren't crazy long, like you know the, you can sort of um, you can play a game in a session essentially, but maybe might be a bit harder in 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 uh, like playing it live because this would be a play by email. Um, element through here so you know that will take a bit of time the games don't typically take more than you know maybe sort of 30 or 40 turns uh, to play out anyway let's uh, quit back out of there because um, I'll just go through a few of the other things uh, you've got um, a full fully full-blown training mission uh, which then sort of sets up the game gives you a lot of explanation about how the game actually does work uh, which is worth doing um, it does it takes a bit of time like maybe sort of like 15, 20 minutes uh, if you're sort of rattling through it, a bit longer if you're, uh, if you're really digesting all the information. It's good information that's in it. So, uh, you know, things about you know, getting to the heights and how to tackle different sorts of scenarios. So it's, uh, it's definitely worth doing. Uh, the settings are, uh, as I say, things are changing a little bit in the game over time. So I won't sort of spend too much time in through here. Uh, your sound, your video settings in through here again as well. A lot of things done very, very well in this game, like, you know, in terms of the, um, the way things actually do work. At time of recording, there is actually a problem with the higher, uh, the higher, um, the higher dimensions uh, for the actual, uh, for the game, but that's, um, that's going to be fixed before launch is what I've been told. So uh, as I say, we've got the, um, I'm playing a version that is not the release version. 
And then the game itself. So you've got, sort of, for example, like, you know, auto saves, no limits, uh, auto cam enabled. I don't know if, I wish it would give you over, like an overview as to what these things actually are. Um, tac cam, uh, this is fine as well, and through this other side here. Um, we've got uh, kill auto cam. Um, yeah, there's different, this, these are quite cool actually, the way it does sort of show these. Uh, okay, we've got a question there from Mo Gundam saying RTS. No, this is a purely a turn-based game. Purely, it's very much, as I said, said at the start, of the start it's, it's very, very much an entry-level war game. And um, so it's sort of it's got the elements of it being a war game, but done in a in a fairly simple sort of way. Uh, units outlined, yeah, that's all fine. Game grid disabled. Not you don't need it in the game. You sort of see, you can see the grid very, very clearly. Fog of War. Um, don't know why that would be off actually. That's oh, that's for the map. That's for the map, because there is a fog of war on. Anyway, that's the uh, that's where we are with the different bits and pieces, different hotkeys in through here. There's again a fair few different hotkeys. Uh, not that you can change them. So you've, that's one thing that um, they may want to bring in at some point to be able to remap the keys. Uh, what's important for us? There's not a lot that's really important once we get things going. The toggle the extended combat prediction can be useful. Uh, that can be quite cool. Um, you don't really ever want to be turning off your toggle line of fire. Um, open the unit information screen. It can be useful as well. I mean, you can sort of click on the units and, and bring it up as well. Um, yeah, so there's a lot a lot in through there. A lot of different sorts of things. You, you do actually have, yes, different skill slots, but it's not really going to matter that much. So anyway, let's go and play a skirmish game because that's really where... For me, the game was so surprising uh, with this with this iteration. Uh, we haven't had this in the demos and things. The skirmish was there, but it wasn't fleshed out, whereas now it really is fleshed out. So if we go in, it can take a little bit of time for it to build the maps uh, for you. But we now actually have a, um, uh, like this is a summary of whatever map you have selected. So if I go and click on this one, we then get to sort of see the different summaries in through here. So we've got like uh, players, how many flags there are that have to be captured, the width, the height, and then the, the size of the actual map itself. But um, the the really cool thing with this is that you've actually now got a uh, map generator in back in through here. So if I go and click on this, this can take a little bit of time to load in, or it did, certainly did yesterday. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. And so what you've got through here is actually a um, uh, like a, a thing where the topology, like the actual the actual landforms themselves, are, are generated through uh, through through settings. You can also then dictate whether it's going to be a small map, so you just filter by the small maps, the medium maps, or the uh, or the large maps, with a whole lot of different sorts of things. So that's just a large map with a, as a plane, uh, large map and ocean and a, ri a, uh, a river and hills running through it, in through there. I think we might play on a medium map, though, uh, for this particular one. So we've got, uh, what's the difference there and there? Just It just rotates around slightly. That's 25 by 25. This is 29 by 21. Um, anyway, the different sorts of scenarios you've got, like you've got sort of like an ocean, uh, hills, uh, like you've got different hills in through here. Hills are vitally important. This would be an interesting map to play. Like it's, it's. You can see there the topology is really quite. Like it does, it does mirror through the middle through here. Um, two rivers with a map with hills. That would be quite a. That would be quite a cool one to play actually. Uh, five hills. It's sort of funny when you look at these. It's. Um, it may not look all that. Um, all that. All that interesting, but the. Attacking from heights is a big, big part of this game, and so these sorts of ma these sorts of uh, basic maps, uh, like this, is not random. But this this does set up the, as I say before, the the aspect of how you then play the game. Um, this is a um, I did this one. I played this one yesterday actually, which is very, very cool the way it did sort of work and play out. It was um, I did this one on Twitch on my Twitch channel. Um, Four Hills. It's interesting as well with rivers, uh, cliffside hills. So you've sort of got like little gaps in between that cliffs aren't, um, can't be traversed, but you do actually have little areas. That's pr pretty more, we'd be wanting to get a little bit more through there. This one has got a, a lake island. This one here, you'd be mainly playing on the hills though. So I might go back out to, I might play this one here. 
where we've got different river systems that we have to then navigate. We've got bridges, we've got hills. So we do actually have the heights across the actual map itself. So this is the first step in, in generating a map. Then the next step, when you go to the next one, is actually how the, um, how the, like the map pattern, um, it, like, so it's got the map pattern is medium map, two rivers uh, with hills. You can sort of see it sort of laid out in through this other side. There is actually a progression, like a road that sort of runs through. Now, again, the road is not going to be random. Hi, Nicholas, how are you going? Uh, but what we can do through here is actually go and, and randomize the the mix of what's going to happen. If we leave it like this one, it's purely going to be clear, like what we sort of saw there before. But if I randomize all of this bits and pieces, it will then now make this one mainly a village, for example. So it would then sort of set up uh, mainly a village uh, with some city elements as well, a little bit of forest, high vegetation and rough. Randomize again. This one's going to be more sort of city than anything else. But I can sort of chop and change these. Like if I wanted to sort of bring these down, I can bring it so that there's more clear as well. Um, I mean, let's just go and uh, build our own sort of collection of things. We get a little bit more forest, high vegetation and rough. I might just um, might just leave it like this. So we just get a bit of a mix, just so you can sort of see how it does actually work. Uh, two players, six flags is fine. Uh, the, the, the flags are the objectives. There might be too many. Um, let's go with four flags. The, the flags give you your income, um, which, is, um, which is sort of interesting the way it does work. It's sort of one of these games where uh, look, it would be good to be able to sort of change things um, back a little bit with the way that the game does uh, allow you to build up your armies. It's uh, it works well, but uh, the balance for me, could, you know, could be just a, a slightly different. So anyway, so this is um, this is where we're going to be going. If we now go and update, uh, essentially what we're doing, we can then update this map with the uh, with these settings. And so uh, by um, allowing percentage again, I, I wish that there was tool tips that would tell you what these things actually do. Biome dispersion is um, I, I said that one. I think fifty is the default. High proximity of, of buildings, uh, that's going, I'm not sure, exactly sure what these do either. Anyway, I'll leave them where they are. Let's just do the update. There we go. So this is actually now, this is the map that it's now generated. That's interesting. So I'll just, I'll just update again. Look at this. This is really cool. So it's actually now goes across through a forest. Got a bit more open up through this other side. Let's go and add in a little bit more village. And update. So the randomization, this is actually a fairly cool one. I quite like this where we've got the fair bit of forest. Uh, we do actually have other sort of uh, foliage and stuff sort of going on. We've still got clear areas. But that uh, that one does look interesting. So um, yeah, I think we'll play this one. So this is a really, really interesting way of, of playing the, the game. It's, it's quite a simple game at its, um, at its, at its heart. Um, so Thor is saying it looks like a prettier second front. Second front has got some mechanics that you've got to, you've got to understand those mechanics um, to be able to play the game. This is much simpler in terms of the basic understanding of how to play the game. So um, and hi Jacob, how are you going? And hi to anybody else that's joined us as well. So I think we'll play this. Um, you can see there it's not mirrored like it, but it is actually now um, based on what we've done through here. It is sort of now building up the different bits and pieces. So let's go and um, let's go and export this map. Oh, hang on, we need to change the name into the map name. So I'll just call this one um, Daz Rivers. I don't know why you can't use um, spaces. Oh one, there we go. Export. Now this can take a little bit of time to build the map. Uh, I'm just going to grab myself a drink of water while we wait for the uh, map to load. <coughs> Here we go. All right, so um, I think that that's now been exported, so we can now just sort of go and click on that one. And there it is there, so Daz Rivers 01. So we can just bring this one back in. We've only got four flags. Uh, we see six there, but there's, in reality, there's only going to be four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to have an AI in through there. The country, let's make them 
British, so UK, and we'll play as Germany. That way you can listen to the uh, English accents for the German, the German forces. I don't know why they did that, uh, to be honest. I'll make them red. Um, yeah, we can go as, as green or yellow. Go yellow, I guess. Uh, now, the bias, I'm not sure exactly sure how this one then works. Uh, I think that this may be the... Um, the amount of amount of income that you get, but I haven't actually tested this. There's a lot of things in here that I haven't actually tested, uh, and so there's a. And again, this is so so cool the way that this one actually works. So if, we've got our base map now, but we can set things up. Let's just put both on sixty percent. I'm, I'm just not sure if that's the. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm flying blind. Uh, victory conditions. Now, this one here, you can actually have it so that it's, it ends in a maximum number of turns. Ten turns is not enough. Um, by default, that should be much higher. You can turn that off. So I'm suggesting that you probably do that if you're playing these sort of random maps. Uh, you've got control the flag. Is like These are different sort of victory conditions. Um, a conqueror, where you need to destroy the other, other side or and then wipe them out. I'm not sure what these... What the difference is with these this doesn't ch change much and this doesn't change much control the flag does change the victory points the victory points i think i'll leave on i found that 40 again is not really enough so um actually i might i might leave control the flags off just leave that one out of there actually i, might, I may need to just put a number in there it's, it's gone red let's just make it say 60. i found that sort of 60 or 70 tends to be about the right sort of um Right sort of level, but let's go with a uh, one where we actually d go conquer it and wipe them out. Now, starting prestige, this is actually how you start off. You do need this fairly high. I'm not sure what the bias actually is. Let's just put it back to 100 for now, and, because I don't understand what that, how that actually does work. I think that's just a way of, of it must be the income. It has to be the income. Um... Yeah, because I find the income just a little bit too much. Prestige income rate. So I'm going to change this down to about half. So that way we have to um, we have to be very careful with what we end up having. Uh, unit starting level. I'm just going to keep them on, on zero, so they, they they will level level up over the course of the game. You can actually have them start off with a bit of veterancy uh, because uh, when you're playing a skirmish map, you don't have progression through the, like a campaign. Like a campaign, you've got progression with your units, but not with this one. Uh, heroes, let's just start off with, say, two heroes. These are pretty cool, the way this one actually does work, and very, very impactful in the game. I don't know if the AI knows how to use these effectively. Uh, the, H, the HQ skills, this is for both sides. So you've got a whole lot of different things that you can then do during the game. Uh, rally and reinforcement should be on by default, I think. So I'm just going to go rally, and I will put reinforcement in. But we have things like naval bombardment, artillery bombardment, dive bomber, tactical bomber, and air recon. But let's just go with the the two basic ones that affect your own forces. And so, um, so God, I've saying, wow, awesome game. What is the release date? Uh, in the 11th of April, this says, I shut, uh, I shut, shut tight. Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's in, it's in, thanks. I'll, I'll wait. Yeah, no, it's um. So it's coming. It's coming, guys. It's coming next week. So, um, but it looks awesome. So we'll start the game from here with what we've actually got. So uh, now we, we also then have, when we do start the game, it then comes up with a difficulty selection. Now I'm going to do insurmountable, um, which will then change their accuracy up and the enemy damage will also then go up as well. So they're going to be more accurate. So let's just go. I found that challenging was a bit too easy for me but it, on these random maps, but insurmountable I think will be probably about right because I can use the... Um, the terrain better than the AI can, like so I can sort of I can figure out what to do and and plan accordingly. Whereas the AI will bring in a like powerful forces, but it's not going to be quite the same. You anyway, know, let's just go and click on OK. So now it's building the map, and this can take a bit of time. Oh, that, actually, that was fast today. That was fast. There we go. So what we end up having here is this is where we're starting off. Um, if I press the WASD keys. Uh, we've got another location over there that we have to go and grab, another one there that we have to go and grab. Another one back there, that's their side, back over this other side through here. There's rough terrain through there. So this is the village. There is this little bit of a hill in through this other side. As I, as I roll over, you can see there that it's got elevation 1, elevation 0. So the hills will will play a, play a role. We do actually have uh, 
cover of 40 in the in the foliage and similarly 40 40 coverage in the rough terrain back and through here as well but you can sort of see through like with the um with the uh forest we've got a cover of 60 back through there and that's elevation one all the way through there and then it's got rough terrain on elevation zero so this here is the critical element this forest uh, and the um and the houses that are nearby the forest and so these were just randomly generated uh, with what we're doing. So that's what we will be wanting. To, this is why the AI um, may struggle a little bit because they won't be thinking in terms of securing these sorts of areas. So we need to get those fairly quickly. Uh, so with that in mind, we've got a thousand points to spend. Uh, we will be wanting to also just go back and grab this quickly and this quickly, but we'll get that on the way through to securing I think that securing these houses is actually the critical element. Now, the other thing that we actually have is we have a um, elevation one there, and then we've got an elevation zero back down in here. But this is all open. So um, if they secure this, if they secure all of this, we're in trouble. So we're going to need to... Um, and, and look at uh, the different forces we actually have. Again, this is very simplistic. Uh, hi ZXM, how are you going? Uh, so it, this is extremely simplistic the way it does play out. Uh, some of your like, and when you've got like lots of forest like this, this is going to be this is absolutely made for um, infantry. So uh, infantry will be very very important through there. But we're still going to need to have an over uh, like an overwatch, maybe even from over here, uh, looking into the different areas. Now we've got elevation. This is sort of more the the city aspect of the game. Back over this other side. We do actually have another bridge over there if we if we had to to move across into this other side, but this here this this forest I think is going to be the key the key element. So we need to rush our forces up. Um, okay, let's go and start buying some things. So we go into uh, every turn basically you, you come in and you've got the points that you then spend in through here. And so the way that this one works is that we are, we are going to have a couple of heroes. If we just go and um, is the heroes they should be they should be listed there. Might have to might have to go and grab some before we can see what they actually are. But um, we have uh, it's split up into different things. This is looks as filtering by all all the different units. So I'll just go through the basics of how this actually does work. So you've got your basic infantry. We're going to be using a lot of these to to come through and then be able to um, to set things up. You can see there the the points the the point numbers that we've actually got in through this other side. Uh, riflemen are the cheapest, really, with what we actually have. Then we've got more specialised different groups. So just to quickly go through how it actually does work, uh, we've got the basic parameters when we when we look at the riflemen, and maybe this would be the easiest way to sort of start. <clears throat> so the rifleman consists of five units, a commander who has got like different abilities. Uh, then we've got the soldiers in through this other side. So four soldiers and a commander. Uh, they have their own benefits, like in this case we've got low profile. So you, a unit with low profile is difficult to spot. The enemies uh, get a negative target size modifier when targeting against it. Uh, this unit can climb over various obstacles such as walls, uh, can enter buildings as well. So this is sort of like the benefit that it actually has. Can enter wrecks, so can actually move into tiles where there are wrecks and, just, uh, and that will be important uh, later on. Uh, board transports, um, it's got an anti-tank grenade, so this unit performs a close quarters attack against enemy armour. Uh, units in adjacent tiles, it, um, it gains action points equal to, um, to 20 plus the, its cover rating. And then it's got an assault as well. This unit storms the enemy positions to adjacent tiles and occupies the opponent's tiles. So again, if we have to do infantry fighting, then... That's the, this is sort of like our basic infantry. The other thing that it actually has, it's got a, a, a um, attack range of five. It's got um, a, a spotting level of 16, which is actually fairly high. Uh, it's also got camouflage of five, which is not great. So it will be spotted. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you as a, a comparison. This is actually the armor piercing attack with its basic attack. This is its range five attack. It also does have that uh, anti-tank grenade. But this is why it's it's a really cool entry-level war game for the simple reason that it's um, that it um, like it's it's all the information is there. It's got intricacy without being onerous, uh, which is and you get used to the units. You will end up with your favourite units. 
This is a high explosive attack, and this is this is what you, it then uses against other, um, like particularly infantry. So, inf like this is more your infant versus infantry. This is more versus other tanks. Uh, then you've got the accuracy of 120 for these guys. Now, the way it works in through here is you've also then got movement points. It's got four movement points, morale of 100. Now, when the morale drops, it'll start to then sort of run. Uh, we've got uh, two attacks uh, in through this other side and three reactions. So the, one of the cool things about the game, which actually works very, very well uh, with it, is that it does actually have this reaction aspect to it which allows them um, if they if sort of if they've left with the action points to be able to fire three different times as reaction fire and um, so we'll have to make use of that as well and most things have got that uh, we've got down through here like soft defense this is its defend its its defense ability back and through this other side it's just got very very like uh, 10 armor is is useless so these these don't last very long at all it's got no levels at this point in time uh, the info level up in heroes, we won't get that until we start to buy these units. Back over through here, it's just showing that it's just infantry. So that's your basic infantry. And then you've got different things like you've got mortars, which have got, um, these have only got four units in through them. You've got the uh, first gunner, first loader, second gunner, second loader in through here. So it's like a, a small mortar team. And you can see there, this one does do, have some uh, some anti uh, anti um, sorry, uh, anti-tank abilities, uh, armor-piercing abilities. It's, it does a lot of damage there with the, uh, with the mortars. And it's, a, it's also then got its own ability. So this one here is, like we saw there with the rifleman, a lot of this won't change between the different groups. This one actually moves even slower. Uh, again, it's got all the same sort of stuff, except that this one now has got, um, can now damage buildings. So this, this unit deals damage to buildings, obstacles, and objects. So it can reduce the, uh, what's actually going on. It's got a bombardment, so this unit performs a long-range attack, ignoring line-of-fire limitations. And this can be very big on these sorts of maps. So we will be getting these guys at some point. And it's also got a smoke shell. This unit deploys a smoke screen that covers the target tile. Uh, the smoke screen blocks uh, a line of fire and reduces the accuracy uh, of attacking in and out of the smoke screen tile by 50%. But this is close range. It's not actually, it's not as if it can actually bombard using the smoke shell, uh, is my understanding of how that one does work. Uh, other things like machine guns are going to be stronger generally against, um, they usually are stronger with the, with the high explosive. Um, snipers have got like better spotting. Uh, better camouflage, uh, they've got uh, better range in this, in this instance, only, just, only two units uh, per the team. Flamethrowers are great against uh, um, uh, just uh, you know, anti-personnel, and it does actually have the flame attack, so this unit performs a close range attack with high, uh, with high um, uh, yeah, HE damage, um, which is the high explosive damage. The uh, flame attack always lands a hit, ignoring accuracy. So if we need to go up against infantry, we'll be wanting to bring those in. If not, they'll be a bit of a waste. Any tank teams are going to be useful, but these cost 350. So these have been, can damage buildings, but they've got a very high um, armor piercing, but only at range three. So they're very, very close range. But with what we're going to be doing, that will still be okay for us to sort of make use of that. Uh, the scouts in through here, very low attack values, high spotting and, and fairly good camouflage. Uh, this one here has got um, perceptive. Any unknown enemy unit becomes identified instead. So it, if it's around, it will then spot what's going on, which can be extremely useful. Uh, so this one here costs 205. Another 205 is a Panzer Grenadier, which has got the assault. These are basically just the same, like we've still got the anti-tank grenade. This is sort of, in reality, the, uh, the, the team that is going to be our backbone uh, for the actual game itself, uh, where it's got, it's very much the, sort of the same, it's got more morale than, the, uh, than the, the rifleman. So these are essentially a rifleman on steroids. They've got um, extra high explosive attack, not good against armor, um, which, which is okay. These are what we're gonna be using fighting in the forest. Uh, and then we've got paratroopers as well, where these are um, these don't paratroop in as such. In fact, the Panzer Grenadiers have got a a, um, a attack range of five, movement of five. Panzer the um, paratroopers are very similar, don't attack quite as well. Um, yeah, they've just got the same sort of deal as well. There, these are more like your commandos. The commandos from the other side would be 
These are, these are a bit cheaper than the, uh, the, the, the Panzer Grenadiers. But I'm thinking we want to get these guys up front as quickly as we possibly can. So let's go, and buy, uh, let's go and acquire one of these. This is 205, so let's go and get a few of these. So we just go to acquire. Now, why didn't the heroes kick in? Oh, now we can do it. Okay. When we click on it, um, level up, we can't actually level up, but this is actually, you know, ultimately if we did get the level ups, we'd then be able to give them specializations as well, which gives them extra abilities back over through here. But we don't actually have that. So uh, level up's just going to not be used. The heroes, we've got, um, actually this is exactly what I had yesterday as well. So... Um, these, uh, the, I thought that they might be randomised, but they're not. And so this this hero, this is Adolf um, uh, Renninghaus, is um, was apparently a real person uh, from what someone was saying yesterday. But this one here, he's got extra abilities of being of devastating. So this unit's damage is doubled. Uh, pull the, pull the rank. This unit restores all its crew at the start of the turn. And uh, commanding presence. All infantry units within one point five range gain thirty accuracy. And so this this character. Applied to the um, the actual uh, to a, a group, particularly Panzer Grenadiers, is going to be really really important. And so I'm going to go and, and uh, attach him to the group. Now I assign him with this one selected. I just assign him in. So he's now assigned to the group. And if I go back and have a look at the info, he's now the leader. He's now the, taken the command position with these other soldiers. And so he's now the actual lead soldier of this group. We also can then go and uh, actually with him you can't do it, but you. Um, I think if I had have picked a truck for this one, it would have worked out okay. I can still put them in trucks later on, but this is um, this is one thing where we don't actually have the ability to do that one. So let's just go back out into our um, to acquiring other units. Oh, hang on, here we go. We can do it. Still do it here. Now, initially, we don't need to worry about, like, it's only 60 points to get an Opal Blitz, just to get a basic truck. But some of these can be really, really useful. Um, because some of them have got, like, a, a very nice, almost like a mortar-type attack. So this is a rocket barrage. Performs a long-range attack, ignoring line-of-fire limitations. This one does 80-10, which I, I don't mind the idea of this. This one's a 65 with a bombardment. It's a bit cheaper. This one does a lot more damage just when we compare them. I think we might go with the rockets for, for this one here uh, in this instance. It's expensive because it's half my points. I think, no, I think we'll go Opal Blitz. Let's go and grab the Opal Blitz. So we'll just go and, um, and acquire that one. Let's just click to buy. Yeah, no, that's okay. Just acquire it. So uh, we, we need to get a couple of these units. So we'll just go back into the um, into the infantry again. Uh, just go back to acquire. It's funny, is it? Certain things just don't quite. Oh, there we go. We're back to um, back to here. I don't know why we can't go from there back into acquiring. But anyway, this is um, where we are. We'll just go and get another Panzer Grenadier group. So we'll um, acquire these. And we'll also get the Opal Blitz back and through this other side as well. Uh, we've got 265 left over. And I think in this instance, I'm just going to go and grab another Panzer Grenadier at this point in time. Oh, by the way, that's all we did was have a look at the infantry at this, at this early stage. There's other things like armoured cars uh, back and through here. Now, I can't afford these. Um, if you've got still got uh, sorry no I've got the uh, this is the total um, of what we've got left I think yeah so um, current prestige hang on how's this one working okay that's that's just showing oh that's showing the total of what we've got selected in through here uh, which is fine the other hero that we have by the way is the uh, is a tank commander. So I'll be wanting to get a lot of points ready for, to get some tanks in. But if we just go back into the actual group itself um, and go back to the acquiring. So we've got armoured cars. These are useful for their spotting abilities. So very, very high, high levels of spotting. Again, a bit too expensive for... We've got 470. I could get a Kubel wagon, which um, are a bit too weak. 
And so they've got they've got armor. Like you can see through here, we've got um, this is the actual defense that you've got. You've got back armor, front armor, side, and top armor. Uh, certainly, when we get into the tanks, it's going to be more important. This one's got a little bit better than what this one has got. This one is sort of like got the same amount of armor all the way around. This one here, the facing is important to get the front coming through. But this is quite weak. Um, and again, we, we don't want to have anything blocking what's happening in the game itself. So it's going to be mainly infantry in this particular map. Uh, if we just go back to acquire, uh, we've then got tanks, the various tanks. Now what I'm going to be wanting here is probably a Tiger or a Tiger 2 to bring in the, the other commander. And so these have got very, very high anti uh, armor piercing ratings. Uh, the Panther as well is actually fairly good. Again, the armor is critically important. Um, this Tiger 2 has got like a 160 uh, armor at the front. The um, the Panther as well is actually not too bad. This one has got uh, fairly good armor piercing, um, very, very good front armor. This one's got better armor sort of all around, so it's sort of more more general. And then this one as well has got better armor yet again. So that's 1,400 points, so we can't afford that one. And then we've got sort of like lower level tanks. Now, I definitely want to have my commander in the... Um, in the, other, in the other side, like with one of these other, with one of these first three tanks, I won't worry so much about these. We have a flame, a flame tank back in through here as well. Uh, again, a bit lower level, eight hundred points, so we can't afford to get that one. We then also have assault guns as well, like we had stern panzers and stugs back in through this other side. Uh, we've got uh, self-propelled guns. These are really, really important, and these will be critically important on this map, uh, where we've got, uh, for example. Uh, this one damages building. What we need is bombardment. It's got a, a tank machine gun, so it does actually have an ability to actually then destroy enemy tanks. A jank panzer in through here as well. Uh, again, just looking at what it can then go and do. Um, this unit can repair a damaged track to remove the broken track penalty. Uh, I think a lot of these have got that as well. Um, well this one doesn't. This is sort of more like an anti-air. Uh, this one here is the one we want though. This has got the bombardment, and so we'll be making big, big use of this, um, ultimately. These will be very, very important to us. So we'll need to get a few of these. These are for 950. Then we also have towed guns, and so these can be devastating, uh, particularly the 88s. So we do actually have like a, an 88 pack cannon and an 88 uh, flat cannon in, in through here as well. Uh, so we've got the two of those in through that side. This one here has got bombardment, again... Could be very, very useful. That's 7050. Um, this one doesn't have bombardment. This one is just pure anti tank. This one is uh, also anti tank, a bit cheaper. We could afford to get one of these, but then they're just going to be in the way. I can bring in an 88, but it's, it's sort of, um, it's not really worth it until we can get transports for it. So I, th I think I'm just going to go back to um, to just getting more infantry, to be honest. We've got, I can get two more infantry without, like, and not bother with getting any more vehicles. So let's go and do that. Let's just go and get more Panzer Grenadiers. Actually, we could end up with, it's one of these other things where I've got snipers. I've also then got the uh, mortars. The mortars will help. Um, we don't need them right away. The anti-tank teams, we, we will need as well. We might bring an anti-tank team in with um, without the vehicle because the vehicles are just getting getting the way. I'll just read a few of the read a few of the comments while we're doing this one. Um, yeah, maybe start with some fast-moving recon units. It's sort of one of those things where we don't need to because we know what the objective is. The objective is for us to get hold of those those buildings and to so it's more it's going to be infantry that's going to be really really important. The flamethrowers, not so much. It's going to be, they're going to be bringing tanks in. I'm just going to acquire this. Now, the anti-tank team, still got 120. I might go and grab another Opal Blitz in through here. So um, in, this, in this case, it's sort of like depending on the map, like it's um, one thing I like about this so far with these random maps is that the map plays a big role into what you're doing. And in my head, I'm going, if I end up on those roads, in those congestions, I'm not going to be able to move my my uh, my my actual vehicle forces around very easily because they can block each other. So there is actually sort of like a, a physical block. So I, I sh uh, t uh, shut tight, saying um, that would be nice. The dynamic campaigns of Steel Panthers and the old um, 
Talon Soft Eastern and Western Front games were my favourite modes. Yeah, that was pretty cool actually. So we've got also there was an sorry Golap is also then continuing on. Uh, is it possible to build uh, your own custom army and experience progression during skirmish mode? That would be very cool, uh, but no, it's not. <laughs> that would be very very cool. Um, and so uh, I start saying, oh no, the German voice act is terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, still showing the cost of. Um, the last unit you bought, yeah, that's what it, that thing was. You can see it through there as well. Anyway, that's um, we've now got this one actually got to replace. Okay, so I can actually, if there's stuff I don't want, but I'll, I'll leave it like this. We're not going to need any more than these three th than these three uh, uh, tanks and uh, three three trucks in through here. So we'll just go and deploy these. They then get deployed into our location. You can see the little symbol that's actually in there. Um, What's our destination, sir? Now we've got this one here is the one that I just selected. We can see there that these guys are inside the Opal Blitz. Um, now that is my main guy. Engine warmed up and ready. Now the anti tanks we're going to need to get across. Now the first turn you can't actually move off, so all we can do is just say, "Yep, we're finished with our deployment." What we have to do is we have to get rid of the other HQ and we have to kill or kill the enemies, one of the two. So again, getting these points here is going to be incredibly important. So let's just go ahead and end our turn in through here. So I'll just read a few more of the comments. Um, so um, uh, Mo Gundam saying German, German armored car have too, uh, too many variants. Um, yeah, it's simple. The game is simplistic, so don't expect it to be uh, complicated. Uh, I think I'll, what I'll do is I'm just going to move my head out of the way. Sorry, guys. Just move across, just bear with me. Oops, I'll just drag it over. Probably in there, I think we'll be okay. That's probably, um, at least then you can see the map through this other side. Uh, the other thing I could do, I think that that's safe. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll just go there, that'll, that'll do. <laughs> so we'll um, position it there, right, and go back to the game. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the English accents are still straight. Yeah, it's sort of weird. Like it's weird. I mean, you get used to it, but it's it's. I don't know why they didn't get didn't get the, the 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 you know the better voice acting. Let's end our turn. Now the enemy is likely to be building uh, small armored cars and stuff like this uh, from their side of things, but it's going to get very congested very quickly. And so we need to get into these forests uh, as quickly as we possibly can, even more so than coming back for this objective. The objective is going to give us income, though, so it's one of those things where we may want to do it. Let's just end our turn. Now we begin. So now it's the start of the game. We now have another 260 to spend. Transport awaiting orders. So we'll just go back in and grab this one. Moving up. It's funny. If the game didn't have the 3D graphics, it would be just as good. Um, it really doesn't need it. It's all based on this tile system. You can see it's all just a grid system. So we're now just going to move that one up. Transport on its way. Now this is the one, this is the anti-tank team. Uh, we're going to be wanting to have... What's our destination, sir? This is unfortunately the other guy, but um, we'll move this one across. You can see I can't really go off easily into the other terrain Heading to new position. in fact I might send all three this way I could up and ready. I can grab this right now um, yeah look I might do it these are these are worth income uh, prestige income for me <clears throat> it's going to be hard to take theirs as well. That one there is possible possible for us uh, once we sort of once we get a bit of attrition happening. Yeah, let's just go this way. Moving up. Yeah, Factions are, we are weird. I don't know why they did that. You know, like it's sort of it's a very strange decision. You, you travel faster on the roads. Now, with 260, um, it's really not enough for me to build anything, so I'm just going to go and end my turn here. Now we begin. 
Transport awaiting orders. Now, this is a bit risky, but heading to new position. We have to do it. What's our destination, sir? Now we've got the top of the hill there. They can't have reached the top of the hill just yet. So I'm going to put the anti-tank... Oh, God, where should I put it? There, I guess. Might be a bit risky for it, actually. I'm going to, I think I'll put the anti-tank a little bit into the forest. Yeah, let's do that. Engine if I grab the one behind it, it has to then go around this particular vehicle. Transport awaiting orders. Moving out. So we're sort of close to be becoming exposed here. All right. So with the uh, with the vehicle, we're going to now drop off the units. And I'm going to place it. Um, I'm going to place it back into here. It can't see, ready to deploy. but it can. It can hit anything that does come up this other side. Now the reason that I've um, actually I could move up. Yeah, maybe we'll do this. As you wish, sir. What's our destination? Oh, we can't move anywhere. Engine warmed up and ready. Transport on its way. And then this is our, our main commander. So I'm going to go and place him in with the most of the infantry because um, he, the hero in there has got the ability, like he's, he's got his own, own ability. If we go and have a look at the information, if I press I, this is the information for this group. And so it, it has commanding presence. So all infantry units within a 1.5 range gain, um, gain 30 accuracy. And so um, this is actually something that we do want him uh, sort of in the front as well, but um, it's going to be important for him to just start to um, to move through the forest, and then we'll bring the others back up. Now we've got 660 now. What I really need to do is to bring in some sort of artillery. Um, I've got the anti tank sort of, or I save up for more of a um, for more um, more devastating type type units. This one here. Um, again, I could offload. I think I'll wait till I've got a, to, I'll bring a wesp in and, and use that. Uh, so Andre is saying, when we get a Dom 6 live stream? Yeah, I've got to do one actually. I've, it's one of those, like I've got all these games that I've, I really want to be playing and uh, that's one of them it's sort of it's funny because it sort of it goes off my radar and there's been so many great games coming out I mean this one comes out next week so I will get to it um, and I will be trying to do more um, in-depth uh, videos here on YouTube uh, like you know more live streamy type type stuff uh, so we'll just we'll just continue on at this stage got all that I'm not going to I could offload them but I think I'm just going to I'm going to move up into here somewhere. I don't. We don't know what's where, but this um, the Opal Blitz could be a bit of a problem. We certainly have this. We've identified this is this forest is really the the critical element. I could bring even more troops in, but I, I don't think I need them. I think it's going to be a bit of a waste if I if until I start to bring either tanks or um, or um, artillery. And probably probably tanks actually would be the the next one, so we might even save up to get ourselves like a a, a, a big tank. So we need fourteen hundred. Right, let's end our turn here. Now we begin. What's our destination? So we're not seeing anything just yet. Head into new position. Engine warmed up and ready. Moving out. Now 
this, this one here is um, now that's still uh, elevation zero. That's elevation one there. I think I might. S it's a bit risky, but I'm going to send it round here. Load into the um, well, I can get into the tree line there, but then it can start to see me with different things. So let's just try this. What are your orders, sir? Now that's a uh, that's got good cover there. Let's just go that way. For the fatherland. Now we do actually have from there. We do have uh, this is our line of fire. We do actually have uh, protect. Uh, we can cover that area. So we're not seeing much yet. We will from there. This is elevation one, back where we are. This is elevation zero with this house down down on this little hill. Um, it's the roads that are going to be critical. Move, move, move. All right. So we're now covering the bridges. Um, we'll just stay where we are. There we go. We're, we're spotting some sort of infantry. Back over through here, so they've covered. They've got this area, so they've got infantry coming up as well. Uh, but we're in the cover. We're in high cover here with sixty cover, which is going to be helpful. What's our destination, sir? Now we're up to uh, one more turn, and then we're going to be able to bring in an actual tank, or we can bring in a wesp right now. Like a wesp right now would actually be able to destroy these sorts of units. So. Actually, while we're seeing that, I think we'll err on that side. So let's go and do that now. Now, again, if we go back and have a look at the um, at the tanks. Actually, no, go, go to the Wesp because I know I want this. This is for 950 points. Oh, hang on, this is uh, 950. Let's say um, this one here also then has the bombardment of 70 and 50. This is a 580. Now, it doesn't matter that it can't be moved around because we can always just go and pick it back up with one of the Opal Blitz, the flat cannons. 70-50 through there as opposed to 60-40. So it's very similar. The benefit of this one is we can move it around. The other one we don't. It's got a range of 20. The other, the other one has got a range of, um, of 20 as well. You know, I think, I think I might go this way. There's going to be a lot of attrition coming up fairly soon with what we do. If we go this way, we lose a turn bringing it in, but I think we'll do it. So we'll acquire this one, and I'm not going to buy anything for it. So um, we'll just deploy it. So what we'll do is we'll bring the, the truck back next turn, get that one onto the truck, and then um, and then bring it back off again. Uh, do we need anything else? At this stage. I need to get a tank, basically. I need a, I need anti anti armor. This is not enough. Right, let's send our turn here. Now we begin. So they're just staying there. That sort of saves me a little, little bit of time. Engine warmed up and ready. Head into new position. Artillery waiting for orders. Transport awaiting orders. Okay, that's now on the transport, and now we move back towards the uh, towards the front again. Now this What's one here. I can make. I can leave that one just off to the side. So um, we can do that anyway. I mean, we've only got this amount of space. Transport awaiting orders. And I'll just bring this one in close because the, only, the transports are going to be coming back from in here. So we'll just get the transports, the empty transports, coming back. What's our destination, sir? Might even start to. Um, well, the tank's probably going to end up. It's still the fastest way to get to the front is this way. So let's let's bring this one back in the, over this little bridge. Uh, 
All right, all right, all right. So now we need to save up for the uh, fourteen hundred for the to get the better tank. Now we also then have that one's cover of sixty. Grenadiers awaiting orders. Repositioning as ordered. Enemy position discovered. All right, now they, they'll be able to spot us from what's going on here. So they've identified this. Um, if we have a look at this one through here. So we've, what we've got is we've got a, uh, a QF, uh, uh, like a, a, a QF, uh, hang on, where is, it? where is it? Where is it? Where is it? In through this other side. If we have a look at this one, the QF 17 pounder, uh, it's got a, um, it does, it's mainly anti tank actually. So it does only does a little bit of um, anti personnel. But if we leave it in there, uh, they're going to target us, so they're going to be. They've got a range of twelve. You can see there that they can actually hit that that building, but they can't hit where we came from. So all of this is now exposed. Um, their spotting isn't that great, so they've uh, they've got low low spotting abilities. But we now at least know what we're up against. So they've got an anti tank gun that has come in. Uh, the accuracy is high, uh, range of twelve. The other one it's got is a Sherman Rhino. Now this one here is again more anti-tank than anti-personnel. Range of 10, again, has the range to hit these units. That looks it's like it's on a hill. No, it's still on elevation zero. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this one and just protect the road uh, with what we have. It's more, like at this stage, I'm trying to just keep everyone alive as much as I can. So we're not seeing too much like if I go back into this one here our range doesn't extend out that far but if we go back into here we can still see the road so uh, I like it as, as well like we gave it an order to go there but it, it, it actually you know when it saw these units it stopped which gives us a chance to then fix things up um, so uh, Thor is saying you're very disappointed that the anti-tank gun isn't towed behind the truck here. Yeah. Look, it's it's at things. A lot of things are abstracted in the game. It's it's a very simple game, and it's it's core. I'm going to wait. This is going to be interesting to see what actually happens in through here. But we do have an advantage with the heights. We will not fail the fatherland. This is not that great um, with the anti-tanks. We need to. We're going to need to get big tanks in. All right, um, that's all fine. Engine warmed up and ready. So these have uh, moved as far as they can this turn. And again, I'm not going to do anything else this turn. Now we begin. Now I th we know we're, we're aware of three enemies at this stage, but there will be more. There comes a um, another tank moving that we haven't identified yet. So they're sort of uh, they're just positioning themselves back in through there. Now, where are we going to set up this this um, uh, this gun? Got elevation zero through here. It's elevation one there. Maybe there. Now, range twenty. Hang on. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That gives us a pretty good uh, range. I think that that's, um, that there is, is, we're still fairly hidden. What's our destination, sir? Oh, it's one of these things where we don't quite. We can always reshuffle, I guess. Moving. We don't quite have the uh, the ability to sort of move this one across. And what I'd like to do is to um, is to actually. Um, so I'll start here, even though it's elevation zero. Waiting to rain down hell. Now, if we just press I. Yeah, we've only got, um, like, it's only got back and front armor of 10, which is um, not that useful. And so these can now start to uh, to fire at these. And so uh, we're just going to start doing this turn after turn. So th we do cover all of this area. No 
more misses. Reload. Just a warm up. There we go. We got rid of two damage on that particular unit. So that's the start, uh, which isn't bad. Uh, getting another one of those would be great. We need one more turn to then pick up the um, the the high level tank. Um, I can get myself a low level tank at this point in time. Let's have a look and see. If we just go back into um, spending this. One forty, one thirty, one fifty. This one certainly has the best. Got one thirty front armor there. The side armor doesn't worry us too much. This one's got much better protection overall. The top armor kicks in if we don't have the heights. So if we're if we're attacking from heights, it won't. The top armor won't matter. I could get away with this one for uh, and buy this one right now. So that would actually work. Rather than waiting, waiting for the Tiger 2. So I could, I could still grab this one. It does have... Does it have anything else? It's got overrun. This unit storms the enemy positions uh, to an adjacent tile and occupies the um, opponent's tile if the enemy unit is eliminated. The attack is calculated differently and depends on the uh, armor-piercing attack and morale of both engaged units. It's got a hundred morale there. So it's only got a movement of six. Ooh, I don't know which way to go with this. Get it now. It does have more movement. 160 versus 130. You know, that's the survivability. I think I'm going to err on that side. And um, I think we'll wait one more turn. We're going to get... They're going to come thick and fast fairly soon, actually. Oh, boy. Uh, and we don't have a real lot of space for um, for placing things in. I think I'm going to wait. And to, uh, because I'm just thinking in terms of the uh, of the map there's only one spot we can really place it and that's here and that's going to be then exposed to everything coming down this other side so it's going to take a lot of heat uh, once this once this actually does start and uh, so once that gets gets going that's going to be um, become a bit more of a problem so I think we'll wait until we get the 160 armor because we will we'll then be able to protect it so um, let's wait for that one engine warmed up and ready Transport on its way. Let's bring that one back this way and. Transport awaiting orders. Let's bring this truck back as well. Um, the tank's going to come next turn, so I'm just going to go and position that back over here somewhere. Heading to new position. I'm going to keep this, um, this, I mean, this one is here anyway, but I'm going to keep this one close just in case we have to bring, bring this one back. So um, Michael's saying, Daz, are you going to do a stream of this on release day? I'm not sure, actually. Um, I'm not sure about that one. So um, I'll have to sort of see how my timing does go. It sort of, I do want to cover this one, though, just to show that, particularly the, the random maps. I, I love this aspect of this game. This is... Um, it's so cool that you can just, you know, that you can play your, your random maps in this sort of way. But it would be great to have a, a progressive uh, campaign. Like a, a, that's something I could certainly do. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, I'm, you know, like in the future, I, I would hope. Um, these guys, again, we don't need to be doing anything until we're ready. So what we want to do is we want to get attrition now. Now they're out in the open, ultimately, if we can just get firepower up this way. So let's go and uh, end our turn. Now we begin. Now that's the Rhino, I think. Yep, that's the Sherman Rhino. Now we're aware of four units now that we've come across. Still nothing coming across this other side just yet. Artillery ready. 
Now we can do damage if we have a look at the Rhino yet again. This one has got uh, top armor of uh, 25. It's still it's fairly well armored. Artillery waiting for orders. I think I'll still just stick on this one though. Check target coordinates. Three hits on that, that time, and that destroyed it. So that's one unit down. So the, the attrition is important for us. Now I can reboard this, and I'm just wondering whether I still should move this one up. They're going to be breaking through. Engine warmed up and ready. Let's just go and do this, and. Um, Moving up. We can't. Uh, actually, we can drop off now. So we're now in a higher position. That'll do. I'll just keep this one nearby because we don't need it with anything else. We now have enough to. Um, we've got certainly got enough to grab what we needed there with the tank. So let's go and get the Tiger Two, so that our best our best tank. We'll acquire that one. We'll select it, and we've got the other hero. So we've got Michael Whitman. And so he's got swift attack. So this one gains one extra attack. He's fearsome. The enemy units attack this unit with their accuracy reduced by 50% and unbeatable. This unit gains a hundred, another extra 100 morale. This is really, really critical. To have like a tank like this with overrun capabilities and so on and so forth is, um, is really, really powerful by having him involved with it. So let's go and, and assign him to the tank. So he's now a part of this particular tank and now we'll deploy this tank. Uh, we've got 250, which does allow me to um, transport awaiting orders to bring in the uh, the other troops. I should have left that one on the, on there. Actually, no, that's that's still okay where that is. What's our destination, sir? Transport on its way. So we have 250 left over. Let's just go back to infantry. Can bring snipers in. Really only going to be good against um, uh, anti infantry. Uh, flamethrowers, not that great. Anti tanks again. Do you have the scouts? Don't, we don't really need them at this stage anymore. The mortars, 320, we can't afford. I'm back to Panzer Grenadiers again. I think I'm just going to go and grab more of these. Look, uh, is that a waste? I think that getting more of these, um, more artillery is going to be extremely useful. With what we can do. Uh, I, might, I might save save my money. I'm just worried that they're going to start pushing through with, those, with that tank. And um, that's then going to cause issues. So hopefully we, we're not spotted, um, that we can then get a shot in as it comes back up through here. That would be ideal. Because it can actually hit us, it just hasn't seen us yet. Oh, it, it did spot us back that way. Now we begin. All right. So because we're on top of the hill, it can now it can now see us. Waiting to rain down hell. It's very dangerous for me to do this. Engine warmed up and ready. Transport. Yeah. Okay. Waiting so that's I'm better off being back where I was. So I'm behind the um, behind the, the area here. Just a warm up. It's another one. Just a warm up. Another one. That's good. So it's um it's taken a bit of damage. So that's actually worked out fairly well. I might 
grab another one of those. Tank crew awaiting orders. Let's bring the tank up. Put our hero on board. A nice pleasant surprise <laughs> for them when that one arrives. Um, and then we've just got to bring the other forces in. So if we bring in another one of these, I think that's going to be a good idea. One of the really cool things about the game as well is that we've, if we go back to this one here, we did lose, you can see we've got the five pips at the top there. Uh, we've lost one of, our, one of our guys. So the second gunner has been, uh, has been killed. And so that's going to then impact, um, for example, the accuracy. You can see it's got... Um, Minus 17.5 accuracy is now is now sort of dropping the accuracy down because that second gunner has been killed off. I can bring it back in this way, reinforcements, but I'm going to have to say that because it's every four turns we get to use this, and it's still we're still in this big battle of attrition. If we take damage to this tank, I definitely want to be using that to um, like to be able to finish things off. The uh, anti-tank that we have up through here can't quite reach that one. So I'll just leave that one hidden away. So, 650. Um, we wanted to go and bring in another one of these. One of these. Uh, now, before we do it, hang on, before we do that. What's our destination, sir? Moving up. Let's bring that one to there. Now, back into here, the toad guns. Let's grab another one of these. Acquire. And deploy. Artillery ready. That's cool. Engine warmed up and Didn't ready. Didn't realize we could do that. Transport on its way. Okay, that's good. Okay, so um, next turn we're then going to be able to uh, position this one as well. So we'll end up with two artillery at the back there. This is where the um, like the, the AI doesn't think things through to the same degree. Like they still haven't gone out to there, and we've still got we've still got vision on that road. But I don't really want to expose that troop anymore. Um, so Richard's saying, not sure about the cinematics. Um, seems odd there's no music. Uh, there is music, but I've got it turned down actually. Let me turn that one up. I often turn music music down. So this is the. Um, if we go back to sound. Just leave it there. It is it is there. It should be safe, I think, with this one. Let's bring that one up a little bit. Yeah, quite often when I'm recording I, I turn the turn the sounds down way way down low. But I don't think it's going to impact too much what we're doing. Uh, usually have the game sounds to also ramped ramp backwards. Uh, in terms of the game, this is where you can like if you don't like the um, different sorts of cams, like you can turn them off. So auto cam enabled, you can turn that one off as well. Then you've got the uh, uh, attack kill cam, uh, kill cam. You know, watching something uh, being killed directly. It's I, I quite like it. I'm going to leave it on, but you can turn them off if you don't like them. So you've got full control. Uh, so it's, um, uh, do you, Daz, do you have motion blur on? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> if it is, it's probably just the recording, I would guess. Anyway, that's, um, I know that sometimes when I'm sort of moving through, it, it looks funny when I'm recording, but usually it's okay on YouTube. It's normally Twitch that has that problem. All right, well, let's, uh, everyone has now, we've got everyone where we want them. This one is, um, we're slowly sort of working our way through here. But it's a nice, simple game. It's not, it's not onerous. Now we begin. Artillery waiting for orders. There we go. Two hits. Excellent. Now, I'm going to... Um, this is elevation one. This is elevation zero. So I'm just going to go and move the other... Transport awaiting orders. The other one into this position here. Head into new position.
waiting to rain down hell. Why can't we change it? There we go. All right, so let's. Uh, they've now got the two artillery back in through that other side. Um, I'll probably need to get that other one back there again. Heavy pans are ready. And now we can dominate the um, that side of the map. very cool I've got 470 coming back through this other side so to break through into their zone in here we're going to need either snipers or uh, scouts I think a sniper would be a good one for us to go and grab now let's just go back to infantry now they're worth 230 so I can actually bring in even two of those I can I can grab a scout unit if I wanted to now if I've got 470 I can even grab another Panzer Grenadier acquire those and uh, we'll grab the Panzer Grenadiers as well or with the snipers we actually go and buy ourselves a um, like one of these rocket actually no we can't afford it can't afford it okay forget that let's go and acquire this one as well Oops, hang on, where are we? Hands a deer, acquire, deploy. There we are. You have targets for us? Grenadiers are it's interesting, you can't load them in just and yet. Up and ready. Transport awaiting orders. Moving up. What's our destination, sir? Transport on its way. He's back through. Yeah, so you can turn those animations off if you don't like them. But I'm showing you the uh, the full game. <laughs> I love it actually. It's sort of it's um, it's interesting. It was. Uh, like it's one of these games that um, you can just play and play and play. It's um, and particularly with the random maps. So I really, really like the random maps in this. Uh, I love the idea of of having the topology, like the actual, um, you know, the, the landforms, not random, but then having the, uh, the the detail on top randomized, which means that like depending on what happens in on this hill, for example, it's completely like you know this has been a very important to just to grab this little collection that we've actually got through here. It's uh, yeah, vital, which is awesome. Um, yep, so we'll end our turn there. Now we begin. Now we're gonna, eventually we're gonna have to break through. We're gonna need another tank on the other side as well, ultimately. Heavy Panzer awaiting orders. Here we go, we're now getting close. Crush them beneath our tracks. And so the, um, I love the the actual map is deformable as well, like so it sort of breaks through the um, through the different different bits and pieces. Now we are aware of another tank down through that side. It's unknown to us at this stage. Snipers awaiting orders. Let's hunt. In you come. Engine warmed up and ready. Transport awaiting orders. Heading to new position. So at least we've now secured, pretty much secured everything we need to have. What are your orders, sir? What's our destination, sir? Yeah, in terms of getting this way, it's not it's not really understanding because we can get to there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it's a bit bit faster to go this way. Moving up. So what I'll do is I'm gonna wait now, wait until I can get another of the um, tanks. It doesn't have to be a um, it doesn't have to be one of these big big guys. I needed I wanted this one because I wanted to have the commander in there. Artillery ready. Rounds on 
Oh, two hits. Just a warm up. That worked out well. I can press the N key and just start to go back from unit to unit. Waiting for orders. No more misses. Reload. It's been demoralized. So until we can get a tank on this hill, um, yeah, then then we're going to be fairly good. And it, well, we need to hit the snipers and and the uh, other forces across there as well. But we've now got this this one fully fully protected. Heavy pans are ready. I think else we can really do this turn. Now we begin. Heavy Panzer awaiting orders. Advance. So we can anything we can spot this other side. We're going to be in a good position uh, to sort of look after that one. Just going to change my facing so that the facing is going to be from where the enemy is likely to be uh, attacking from. Um, Engine warmed up and ready. The snipers are going to be coming around this other side. Transport on its way. And they've got good spotting abilities. And I might um I might bring this one down into this area through here or even get the sniper. Maybe the sniper in this hill in this area, just to have a bit of a look. I sort of almost just want to use them as scouts. Heading to new position. The AI hasn't really broken out. In the previous game they did break out, but in this one they haven't really gone beyond this little area. Okay, let's... Um, yeah, we, won't, we won't drop them off, of course. Now we've got 835. Uh, let's keep on saving up. Now we begin. Now I've got the 1235. I can grab myself another tank. Um, yeah, it one's got the better uh, protection at the front there. Let's go and grab this one here. It's got good movement. So bring that one across. Waiting to rain down hell. Even with their so much for the fatherland's enemies. There we go. We destroyed that one. Even with their um, poor um, accuracy, they're still doing very, very well. Yeah, they've got a level bonus in through there. If we have a look at the information, level up. Can we do that one? Yeah, we can. So uh, with what we can do with the level ups, uh, we have hit the spot in through here so this one here will give us uh this one ignores the armor bonus uh enemy has from buildings and wrecks wow that's pretty good gains one extra one extra reaction we don't need reactions we need this one through here so let's learn this skill as as uh, first one so uh that's going to be good um so we can sort of then hit it from inside the area Panther is a beast, says Richard. Yes, it's uh, very, very cool. Now, do we have... The others that aren't really firing it much. You know, I'm, what I might do is I might actually go and um, use the reinforcement here, even though we haven't really sort of seen too much. I'll just get this one back up to... Um, let's see. Reinforcements there we have go. Arrived. We have to now wait four turns. I probably should have done that a bit earlier, but I, I, I thought that there was going to be more of a breakout, but... Um, We've got things covered here. We've actually got things uh, certainly well and truly under control. Now, that's exposed. It's all elevation one. I have to be very careful here. Moving up. I think I'm going to, just going to drop this one off here. 
What are our targets, sir? Sniper's moving. We have found the enemy. Yeah, so we've still got that rhino at the back. They haven't moved from here. That one can't reach us, this one can. Waiting to rain down hell. Just a warm up. There we go. Got rid of two pips. Can't do anything else that, that turn with that one. Artillery ready. Just a warm up. Right. So that's been destroyed. You have targets for us? Yeah, so we've got the um, we've got an elevated terrain, we get that one through there, and uh, the camouflage as well. We've got elevated terrain. Um, I'll keep moving. I'm sort of just moving across, and we'll move up to, into here ultimately. So again, we don't need to sort of do too much in through here. Transport awaiting orders. Transport on its way. These guys out. Head into new position. What's our destination, sir? Moving out. Well, okay, that's good. So Mock was saying you just need to take out the last tank and take the headquarters in your wind. Yeah, pretty much if that's all that there is. I'm surprised they haven't broken out because the AI, as I said before, my when I was doing the uh, Twitch stream, they were they were moving a lot further out than this. They were sort of all over the place. I'm surprised they haven't taken this. It's almost like this. Uh, so it's sort of disappointing. I'm, I'm not showing the AI in its best in its best light. Now we begin. Snipers awaiting orders. Let's hunt. More there. Sniper's moving. Enemy position located. Now we're seeing a lot more. All right, so we're seeing units that haven't really taken taken off. Now, one thing I can also then do through here is to change. Um, got attack, suppress this. Um, this action allows your units to shoot at any tile. Yeah, that's got that one through there. Sniper shot activation costs two attacks, um, so that increases the accuracy. Hold fire. This action removes your unit's overwatch for this turn. I'm going to do that with this unit. I don't want that reacting because I want to do the damage with the uh, with these guns. Artillery waiting for orders. Let's get rid of the rhino. Just a warm up. Good, good. That's good. Waiting to rain down hell. Yeah, so where we've got the artillery, it's um, certainly stopping them. Just a warm up. Missed. Missed. We check target coordinates. All right, all right, all right. So, um, Grenadiers reporting. Move, move, move. Should be able to start to sort of see more if there's if there's more out this way as well. I'm happy with where that with that one actually is. Tank crew awaiting orders. Into battle. I'm not saying yeah, kills just went from five to eight. That's actually what we know. Um, so as we as we see more enemies, uh, it will then give us the enemy count. So we're now aware of, of a total of eight, four of which have now been killed. So we've, we've got four left that we're aware of. But there's very likely to be other enemy out and around. I'm not sure why they haven't gone for this. It sort of seems sort of strange. Uh, I've got 525. I think I'll just still keep on saving up. 
if I can. Now we begin. Not doing much. Well, I'm sort of I apologise on part behalf of the game that it didn't sort of show what it can do in terms of its abilities. It's um, as I said before, it's a pretty amazing game. No more misses. Reload. Okay, that's a miss. Artillery waiting for orders. The uh, of course the campaigns are fully scripted. Just a warm up. Wow, that's good. It's been demoralized. I'm going to move this unit to rain down hell. back into there and then dislodge it up on top of the hill. Just so we can get a bit more advantage. Artillery ready. Engine warmed up and ready. Transport awaiting orders. What's our destination, sir? Yep, can't off, drop off just yet. Engine warmed up and ready. Heavy pans are ready. Transport awaiting orders. Can get out of the way. Transport on its way. Okay, so uh, goal of a thing, what's the maximum zoom in and out of the tactical map? So you can zoom right in like like this, or you can zoom out to a sort of like a very much a, a, a top-down view of the actual map itself. We're, we're just really looking at the, just the icons. Uh, and so, um, yeah, there's a comment there saying very easy. No, I'm actually playing it on a higher level where the AI gets more accuracy, but they haven't been able to get a single shot in. This is where the um, human player has the advantage of understanding how the terrain works, whereas the AI is not doing that. I think the AI is trying to build up. What's our destination, sir? So that one can't dislodge that one just yet. Engine warmed up and ready. Heavy Panzer awaiting orders. Crush them for these tracks. So we're going for the kill here. Transport awaiting orders. Head into new position. Tend to get another one of these. I can certainly afford it now. So let's go and um, let's go and grab it. Yet another of these guys. They've been they've been incredible. All right, we'll end our turn there. Now we begin. Yeah, they're hardly doing anything. It's sort of weird. Um, so the game's been good fun up until up until this uh, showing what's happened here. Like it's sort of funny. Just a warm up. I think it's trying to protect Just a warm up. the um, the units a lot. What's our destination, sir? Waiting to rain down hell. Yeah, with this one here. Yeah, we've got spotting and camouflage. It's not we're not getting any bonuses with accuracy by moving up. So we we can still stay down in the bottom there if we wanted to. Cease fire! Target eliminated. Oh, that's good. I'm not going to use the snipers until we've got the tank into, into position. Yeah, Michael, so maybe if the AI started in good defensive positions on random maps, yeah, maybe. Um, it certainly looks like it needs needs work to, uh, to go after the objectives. Because, I mean, we are sort of overrunning this one fairly fairly easily. Engine warmed up and ready. So nothing's in that one. Moving out. Transport awaiting orders. 
Transport on its way. I mean, I could come down now and um, start to dominate this area if I needed to, but I think I'll wait for the other tank to get on top of the hill just so we can get more vision. We've got good vision here with this one though, so we're sort of seeing everything we need to see. Uh, let's just end our turn. So they're bringing in more infantry. They've got now about 12. Okay, they've brought in more of this. So they've just brought in a couple of Stuart tanks, which are very, very weak. Heavy Panzer ready. Now get a shot from there. You can sort of see that we, we end up getting a shot from the top here. But they won't coming back the other way, I don't think. I think it's outside their range. I like that aspect as well, so we can sort of plan what's going on. Let's just turn the facing. Just so we get our, uh, our 130 armour looking down towards where they are. 92. We don't get to see that one through there. So this is the um, this is the field of fire that we actually end up having. We do more damage than that. And so we're we're going in against the side of this particular vehicle. There we go. Destroyed. Easily managed. Heavy Panzer awaiting orders. I do have some shots. Not against the uh, the one at the back. So I'll leave that one where that is. Artillery ready. On target. That was good. Miss! Recheck target coordinates. I'll grab the next one. Artillery waiting for orders. It's destroyed it. Good, good! Yeah, that was a critical hit. Um Grenadiers awaiting orders. Just don't have the size. I mean, they've got a shot there if they wanted to take it. Our target, sir. This one here is a... Um, it's mainly anti-tank, but it's not really going to be able to do much. Yes, gunner has been lost, so it's actually down to just two, two characters inside. Um, the sniper, I'm just going to keep where it is. I'm, I'm really liking the spotting that I've got with the sniper. More so than anything else. What's our destination, sir? Head into new position. Waiting to rain down hell. Engine warmed up and ready. Moving up. Transport. Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> Transport awaiting orders. Heading to new position. Artillery ready. Yeah, we've hit the spot on that one. The other one probably would Artillery have leveled up by now as well. Yeah, we'll hit the spot there as well. I don't think the others will, because they haven't really been firing, I don't think there's any sort of extra leveling that, that anyone else has got. Yes, yeah, so these have got this little star symbol there. The others haven't haven't leveled up at all. All right. Um, Heavy Panzer ready. I'll just keep that one where that is. Now we begin. Heavy Panzer awaiting orders. Crush them beneath our tracks. 
So we're vulnerable with our side facing at this stage. But we'll just uh, rotate around. I do like those, um, those kill shots. It's only um, the infantry here. We can do more damage than that. Advance. Key point under our control. All right, so these can't do much. Um, Snipers are waiting orders. It's now time to use a sniper shot. A hit. Yep, that was good. Someone's down. What are your orders, sir? Repositioning as ordered. Still can't do much down that side. Now we've got 40 cover back in through here. 20 cover in behind there, but it's um. 40 cover, I will move this one down. Grenadiers awaiting orders. Move, move, move. Might as well go, go in the kill now. Tank crew awaiting orders. Into battle. Finish it off, finish it off. Yeah, move. It is the AI spawning point, but they should have, they should have been moving across. Now we can remove that, that, um, that one there. I'm not seeing anything else in here, so it really is um, Heavy Panzer ready. not going to do much else. That one's down. That one's down. I'll just leave that one back there. These guys have also then got the attack. So I think if we kill this one, that's game over. No more misses. Reload. Three hits. That's good. Artillery ready. Miss. We check target coordinates. There we go. <laughs> So we won the game. It's nice and fast. You know, that's uh, less than two hours, basically, just of, and, you know, not playing super fast or anything. So, um, yeah, they didn't get a single sh uh, shot in back on me, actually, at all. Um, so, again, I apologise on behalf of the game. The game is better than what I showed. It's um, the, the, uh, the, one, the one I played yesterday was, was fun. It was, it was one, still one-sided, uh, I've got to say. The campaigns are scripted, though. So... Um, so why didn't the artillery withdraw to range? Um, not sure what you mean. They they had anti-tank guns. Not sure why they didn't actually use them or move them off. Actually, it's sort of um, it's very very weird. Um, yeah. So Michael said, yes, it was said before maybe if the AI started in good defensive positions and random maps, it would be good. If the AI is too easy, maybe try uh, attempt battle mode, uh, battle mode to a multiplayer game. Battle mode is always up for a multiplayer game. <laughs> we've got we've got so many games that we've been planning on playing with this multiplayer. I don't know if he's got this game actually. Uh, any board game saying late to the party looks uh, game looks good, very good. I was wondering uh, where you would rate this versus Valorant Victory per gameplay. Oh, this is much higher for me. Uh, Valorant Victory was interesting, but it's um, this for me is way way higher. Um, just in terms of it's this one is a lot more approachable. I think this one's going to be people like you don't have to be into wargaming to enjoy this game, whereas I think Valorant Victory you do. I think that's one of those games where where you, you sort of need to enjoy those sort of games whereas this one i think just from the even just from the graphical side of things it just feels good um okay so um 
so Michael's saying maybe the kill count goes up every time the AI gets a reinforced. Yeah, that's a bit off-putting, the kill enemies. Because it is just whatever the maximum number of enemies that it actually is. So we killed the last one at the end there. So uh, that sort of works out fairly well. Um, so, uh, and then we've got the question, sorry, it's uh, they've got the acrylic lettering, which I don't know how to pronounce. So it says uh, versus second front. Similar sort of thing. I, like if I was rating Valor and Victory, second front and headquarters, if I was sort of putting them into a list, uh, and I was really looking forward to second front when it, when it first came out. But I think that Valor and Victory and second front have got game mechanics that make them a little bit confusing. Uh, more so than um, than headquarters. Headquarters is probably closest to the troop. Uh, would be probably the other other game that you would sort of re you know, that you would sort of look at, at it from there. Um, so in that sort of sense, you end up you're ending up getting um, uh, what am I trying to say? You end up with a situation where the um, uh, where you've got to learn the game uh, with Second Front and also with Valor and Victory and. Even though it's really cool the way it works, it's just not intuitive. Whereas this game is just intuitive. Like it's um, it's very easy to pick up and very easy to play. So, I would I would put this above all of the others uh, by a fair way, like a fair margin. I do think this is a great little entry level war game. But yeah, we didn't we we lost nothing there. We lost one pip out of the whole thing. Uh, to finish the battle. So um. So it's saying uh, Daz OP nerf Daz. <laughs> well, we can do it. Like, again, if I go back into the skirmish maps, and just to sort of recap where we were, the, ra the map generator is... I'm very, very impressed with this. Now, what happens if we go and... Um, well, let's, let's see what happens if we start off in a game that's... Um, I'll just go to, to, to the media maps. A game like this... Where all it is is hills and depressions. So you've got like different sorts of uh, areas in through here. Um, let's just try that one. Ocean, hills and valleys. Let's give that one a go. Let's go next. Let's just, uh, let's see what we can do with this one here. So that's the overall gameplay of it. Now, let's keep it... Um, predominantly clear I guess if we go and build some villages no cities some forest a little bit of high vegetation a little bit of rough maybe a little bit more village than that a little bit more forest so 50% clear so if we're trying to play like this sort of this sort of one through here and again high proximity of buildings I don't know what that is dispersion not sure what this does either um, players so we got a four player game with uh, four flags I'll update the map yeah, there's a bit more forest there than we thought there would be this is so cool. I really, I really like this. Yeah, let's. I mean, you've got clear through there. Yeah, let's 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 try this one here. So this is my third map. So Daz O three. <laughs> we'll export the map out. I love this aspect though. Like, if you don't like the overall look of it, you just change it. Now, depending on where, where we start with this one, actually, yeah, this is just... The, the, um, all it's doing now is just, is just building the map. And, of course, you know, the map is just, it's fully destructible, like with all the different buildings and things, so that sort of... Um, it also works out fairly well. All right, here we go. So uh, we just, uh, I can keep on generating more, more maps. If I go back and do another update, it's then gonna sort of reshuffle and re-randomize where things actually are. That's an interesting layout, isn't it? They can almost see each other from the, um, 
in their starting points. Anyway, let's uh, let's get rid of the map generator. So if we go now and pick this particular map, it's now a four-player game. Um, so Germany again. Okay, we'll just go. We can play teams if we wanted to. That's okay. The colours don't really come into it. Let's see what happens if we do something like 60% back and through here. We'll say 80%. If I go if I go 60% and they go 80%. I'm assuming this is the income. Bias. Turn the time off. Let's go with control the flags, but make it so that it's say 80 points. So that's one of the victory conditions. Rally and reinforcements been remembered. Uh, two heroes. I don't know if the AI brought heroes in or not. So um, uh, let's just go that way. And I'll still play on that difficult setting as well. So if we go into start game, I'll play on insurmountable, which uh, gives the enemy better accuracy. If I go to, um, so I can change this. Wow, I can get it really, really high. But I won't, I'll just keep it there. So I'll just keep it in that in that sense of insurmountable back in through there. Um, so we can we can tweak this a lot. Again, I wish it was the income. I, I'm assuming the bias is the income, but I really don't know. All right, so we're starting in the top right corner by the looks of things, and uh, so we're on the downward slope of the beach. There's the ocean. And what else have we got in through here? This is a weird thing as well. Like you can look down, but then it'll always flick up. It'll keep the angle, but just not the uh, not what you're actually looking at. So you can just use the uh, Q, e, uh, Q and E keys just to rotate around the map. So we're definitely going to be wanting to take this position. Let's have a bit of a look and see what we've got. So we've got a, um, a elevation two there. We start on elevation zero. One, two. So this is high level. And then we can see on the other side, we've got the Brits on the other side with Elevation 2. We should be able to see straight across there, so from this area. This is going to block the site. I think we'd do the same deal as what we did last time, to start with artillery and infantry. And down in the middle we've got a little house, a little house in the forest. Americans are starting there, but we don't get to see them because of the forest in the in the way. They're starting on the hill, the, the, so there's two lots of Americans. But I think for us, the Brits have to be the one that we go after to start with. So let's uh, spend our points, and we're not going to need to um, not going to need to transport these around at all. So we'll grab, we'll acquire these. All right, we've got 215, so I can just go back to the infantry again. good. So again, this was, um, I think by default, this was supposed to be a two-player map, so we've really compressed it. <laughs> See if we can get the AI to do stuff. Uh, end our turn there, through there. Now we begin. 410 is, is still pretty high. Repositioning as ordered. Grenadiers reporting. For the fatherland. We have located them. Good. Good. What have they got over here? Some unknown unit. Auxiliary waiting for orders. Just a warm up.
Oh, that's it. That should be dead. Yep, that's got it. Good start for us. That's worth a lot of points. Okay, so that's a um, a solid start. Now, um, I'm thinking it's more important to bring another one of these in more than any other units at this point in time. So let's just end our turn there. Now we begin. I'm still not seeing anything else there just yet. So let's bring another one of these in. I'll deploy that one because I know I know exactly where that one's going to go. So it's going to be right on the on the deployment. And now we're going to let's bring in a sniper. Two thirty, which is just enough for us to do this. The sniper does have uh, spotting of eighteen. The scouts have got spotting of eighteen as well. It's got range ten. Grenadiers awaiting orders. Move, move, move. We've seized a key point. Now we do have. Um, I'm not going to worry about these other guys at this stage. They haven't got. No one else has got their um, other locations just yet. Repositioning as ordered. Oh, you know, I should have um, brought my hero in. Well, it's not too late. We can do that one fairly soon. Target, sir? Now we begin. You have targets for us? Moving. Enemy spotted. There we go. There we go. That's what we want him for. Got a Churchill there, which has only got a range of four. This is sort of like a, um, a fair, very, very high damage if it can get close enough. Then we've also just got like a grip of riflemen backing through there as well. Okay. Waiting to rain down hell. Cannot penetrate their armor. Okay, that's going to be difficult. So we'll have to um, we'll have to get an anti tank. For that one through there. Oh, by the way, I haven't shown this. Um, uh, one thing I haven't shown is the um, is the combat in the top right hand corner. So you can see that through there, it's a 15 centimeter uh, you know gun versus a rifleman essentially. So it's it's just giving me a bit of a, a, a in through there. We've got zero chance of getting a critical hit in there. The chance of getting a normal hit um, doing three damage is uh, is 19 percent and 37 percent. For um, for just a graze doing two damage, misses forty four percent, but that leaves us with fifty six percent. If I press the C key, I then can see why that is being calculated, which is very very cool. And so um, and so you can sort of see through there. There's negative multipliers uh, into there. What is it? It's um, the range is minus twenty percent, and the target profile, just being infantry, is is smaller, and so that's also a bit of a problem. Enemy armor, yeah, it's not really a problem in through that side. Um, yep, so damage mod uh, modifier calculation through there as well. So that just gives us the chance of, of like, tells us what we're going to then end up getting. But that's just a C key. Bring that one through. It's been demoralized. And now, if they keep on bringing in the Churchills, that's going to be a problem for us. So we've now destroyed that one as well. Now, do we have a gap in the uh, forest here that will allow us to um, get a, a gun in there? I might be able to bring in a um, an anti-tank gun. 600 is not enough, though. And I'm going to need to then get an Opal Blitz just to uh, maneuver that one in. What are your orders, sir? For the fatherland. Grenadiers reporting. Move, move, move. Just keep them where they are. So I'll bring an anti-tank gun into here. I'm pretty sure I can I can offload them inside the, the uh, foliage. Here it comes.
Now we begin. Now these have got a very, very short range. This one has now gone down to elevation one. I don't know if this is going to help for with these guys, but I think this is just too powerful. Yeah, it's got 20 on top. Waiting to rain I don't think down. it's going to help. Yeah, if we do a normal attack, we, we're likely to do one damage, but the graze is not likely to do anything at all. Just a warm up. No more misses. Reload. Artillery ready. Just keep them going this way. Well, let's see what happens here. I'm 31% chance. Cannot penetrate their armor. Yep. No, it's only a graze, which was zero. 1,200. Now, if we go and get the um, the 88, which is 470, and um, acquire it. And we'll just go and grab ourselves a, um, I think the Opal Blitz will be okay. Acquire that. All right, uh, we'll deploy those. What's our destination, sir? So we'll move that one up next turn and then try to dislo try to place it in there. That way, that way we should then be able to take out the uh, the Cromwell. Is it Cromwell or Churchill? Churchill. So we've got the Churchill that we do need to take out. I'm not going to move up until we've certainly got things covered. Uh, we've still got a we've still got a fair few points. So let's go back into uh, acquiring. More Panzer Grenadiers. And in this case, we'll go and uh, apply the, our hero. So we'll sign the hero to it. And uh, oh, I screwed up again. That's all right. We'll deploy that one. And then we'll save up for a tank. So we've got 465 at this stage. Grenadiers awaiting orders. End turn. Now we begin. It just doesn't have the range. Engine warmed up and ready. Moving out. Yeah, this is good. What is our current objective? So face out this way. Okay, so this is the um, this is the front armor. We've got uh, ten plus twenty from being on the hill. So we've got all sorts of different bonuses for spotting, uh, all sorts of different things coming back in through here. So the, the extra hill, um, actually, may, it may be because of the forest, actually, more than anything else. All right, let's go for it. And so in this case, a graze is going to do one point of damage. A, an actual hit is going to do three, and a critical hit four. That didn't do much damage. A graze. That was a critical hit, which then took that one out. That's great. So that's now gone. Um, we've still got the units at the top there. So now just use these. Artillery waiting for orders. Just a warm up. Miss. We check target coordinates. Waiting to rain down hell. been destroyed okay I think it's time for us to start to move up now we've got uh, cover there we'll just move across the open terrain snipers awaiting orders let's hunt enemy position discovered 
Where? Oh, back there. Okay, the Americans are coming. Grenadiers reporting for the fatherland. I'll just focus on this area. Now we'll wait until we can get uh, some tanks in, and then we'll uh, start to take out the other tanks. I'll bring in another one of those Panther twos before Grenadiers we do too much else. Move, move, move. Transport awaiting orders. I don't think I need to move these off at all. Here to deal with enemy armor, sir. That one can see things. What are your orders, sir? It might be best for us to place this one here. Anti tank ready. What's our destination, sir? Grenadiers reporting. Just have to move that one off. Now we begin. All right, so we've got a bit, bit more in here now. We've got an Achilles, which is a uh, lowish level, anti tank. But it is awaiting orders. It's, its range, it does have the full range. What are your orders, sir? Repositioning as ordered. Let's double check that there's no. Yeah, that's still. I think that's a good spot for us to um, to place the uh, anti tank. I think it'll just give us a little bit more field of fire. Engine warmed up and ready. What is our current objective? Not quite. If I move that one, it doesn't do a hell of a lot against uh, high explosive. Grenadiers reporting for the fatherland. Move, move, move. Repositioning as all. Seen us. All right, we're in the cover. What are our targets, sir? Snipers moving. I'm going to tell them not to react at this Grenadiers stage. Awaiting orders. Right, so he's giving advantages to all of those. Artillery ready. Now I've got commandos there. 120 with 50, and then this is just uh, riflemen, only 30. So that the commandos are the most dangerous for my troops. That's good. Two of them, if we get an actual hit, 22% uh, chance of getting a hit, that'll get the kill. No more missed. Reload. Waiting to rain down hell. There we go. Actual hit there. Now this one's now an 87% chance to hit this one. 41% uh, chance of getting two. I think I'll take this. Rounds on target. All right, that's good. Let's bring our tank in this time. So Tiger two. Acquire. Heroes and Michael is in. Now we have to just uh, keep that's probably going to stay at that location. The other one has now been taken as well, that's been wiped out. So these are fighting each other as well, which is good. Good to know. All right. So if we can take this hill, um, that will give us a fairly clear field of fire as well. This is again, it's it's a, a more interesting sort of map. So at least at least there's action now coming in, but it's still pretty one-sided. <laughs> that one's 
moving out of the way. Ooh, that was a big hit. Overwatch. There we go. Great hit. That's why you want the 88s. So, um, so uh, Michael's saying, yeah, lol, shooting at the AI in its deployment zone on turn two. Well, it's because this was supposed to be a two-player map, and I, I forced it into a four-player map uh, to see what would happen. <laughs> John Hall saying good day from uh, Cornwall, UK, and a pint of Tanglefoot. I don't know what Tanglefoot is. I'm assuming it's some sort of ale. <laughs> Um, Cornwall is um, that wouldn't that, that wouldn't be a dark ale, would it? Down in Cornwall, I wouldn't have thought. Um, although I don't know, is there any Irish influence down that way? Um, I know where Cornwall is. It's sort of uh, I think it's from where my family originated from. So um, what are your orders, sir? I know where it is now? We've got this one here. We've only got that one through there, so we can let's keep on going up this way, this other side. Good start. Well, they're basically gone. Grenadiers reporting for the fatherland. Key point now under our control. Good, we've got that key point. Targets for us. Moving. Grenadiers awaiting orders. What can that one see? Not, not far enough. What are your orders, sir? Move, move, move! Grenadiers reporting. I'm going to um, replenish this. Reinforcements have arrived. Grenadiers awaiting orders. Repositioning as ordered. So we'll do the final assault. Hopefully they don't bring another Churchill in. Heavy Panzer awaiting orders. Now we can't. We have to go around the road with this. But we've got the we've got the range with this guy. I think we'll bring in a second tank as well. Like we'll we'll bring in uh, one of the Panthers. I'm not saying I used to live in Cornwall, Canada. There we are. Uh, and Gratian saying, "Oh man, I was here. I'm wondering when the marble run starts." And <laughs> lo and behold, it's not Monday. Weird week. No, we had um, that was the last key. Yesterday, I think, or was it the day before? The day before, I think, uh, was the marble run, and um, it was uh, uh, Solium Infernum was the giveaway. I'm running out of keys, actually. We're going to have to go back to just bragging rights in fairly soon. We've had a good run though with uh, good things, so uh, this tank is going to be interesting. I think getting this, uh, saving up for the next tank will be also great. Um, I'll keep this one where this is. I might just get ready to dislodge. I quite like this as well. Like you know, just the um, being able to place an 88 in that tree line like this has, has, has been cool. And now we've just got the full-on assault into uh, into the spawn spawn location here. So we'll end our turn there. Now we begin. And that makes life a little bit trickier. It's a Sherman, oh, a Sherman Firefly, Firefly, um, mainly anti-tank, high explosive attack. What does it have? It's got overrun, repair. Then we've just got rifleman there. Right. Well, the rifleman we can take out with our with our units. Now that's going to do damage. Either a hit or a graze is going to do one point of damage. Rounds on target. Good. Don't quite. I need a critical hit somehow, which is just not going to happen. Uh, these have leveled up, actually. So before we do this one here, let's go back into I. Level up. Just so hit the spot and learn that one. Doesn't help us. Yeah, there's zero percent chance of getting a critical here. Just 
just a warm up. Just a warm up. Yeah, that one's got very, very good armor. What are your orders, sir? Should be able to react. Missed. Adjusting aim now. I don't see it. You can't see us. Reporting. No hits on target. Wow, that was pretty bad. Grenadiers awaiting orders. For the fatherland. So if we get the hit here. Wait, six hits there. Destroyed. This is our uh, this is our guy with the uh, with all the special stuff. That's not gonna do any damage. What are your orders, sir? Move, move, move. Here to deal with enemy armor, sir. I need this thing to move, but it won't. <laughs> It'll just stay there and uh, pepper away. Pepper away at the units. Grenadiers reporting. If this thing can survive, that would be the uh, absolutely the, ide the ideal. Um, look, it's it's down to just one unit, one man. This the driver's assistant. So its actual combat rating is um, is negative thirty because it's lost the gunner. It can't really move anywhere. Grenadiers awaiting orders. The, I'll leave this one as the exposed exposed position. Hopefully, hopefully it'll miss. Tank crew awaiting orders. Actually, I do get a shot there. That'll be enough. John Hull saying like the graphics. Yeah, it's very, very good. Very good. And you can turn off the different bits and pieces. 100% there. That's going to get the kill. It's easier to understand what's going on than, for example, combat mission as well. Like it, it's, it's very much abstracted the way that the game actually does work. So that has certainly doing, taken that one down. Grenadiers reporting. All right, we can we can take this out. Key point under our control. Another key point. That's good. What are our targets, sir? Bring the snipers up. Let's hunt. But we can grab another one, the second one of these tanks, if we wanted to. Um, Anti-tank ready. There's no, there's nothing we can really aim at there, but there is down this way. Now, what do we got? We got. Uh, if we have a look at the elevation, you get, you've got one elevation through there, all the way along. It goes to two there. And this has got a range of um, of 12. So if we have a look backwards from here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So, so in here, really. What's our destination, sir? I'm a little bit concerned about what that may mean. Head into new position. All right, so we can grab another tank. Um,
can grab more units. I'm going to need to start to get um, other forces as well. I think I will grab a tank. I'll just grab a panther. I've got 525. I'll just deploy this one. Oh, hang on. I can tell it where to deploy. Didn't realise that. Just noticed that actually. So I can tell it uh, which section we want to deploy in, into. All right, let's end our turn there. Now we begin. Yeah, we're getting heaps of income now. Now that we've got all of the uh, all of these points. Heavy Panzer awaiting orders. There we go. We get a shot from there. Does that one get a shot back? It does technically. Tank crew awaiting orders. It's not ideal. Heavy Panzer ready. Unfortunately, because we're in the valley, we don't see it. It's also got a range of 12. It might come this way with this tank. Into battle. This is a lot more open. It's quite nice actually just having the scattered areas where the where the, the uh, tanks and things can't can't make it. Crush them beneath our tracks. So we've got vision and um, the ability to sort of hit down down through there. Moving up. Let's just get this one ready. We have found the enemy. Ooh, where? Ooh, back there. Yeah, that's minus one. Oh, sorry, this uh, this elevation one. Look, what I might do is I might. Um, we do have a shot from there, so I'm just going to move this one back. Transport on its way. What is our current objective? Shameful miss. To graze. Heavy panzer awaiting <clears> orders. <throat> okay, so that one will be okay. Uh, we've got seventeen twenty-five again. I might bring in uh, infantry again, but we'll just mix things up a little bit this time. So we'll just go back to, um, what should we bring in? I could use an anti-tank team. And in this case, I'm going to go and grab the rockets. All right, so that's now with 460. So I can I can just bring in like maybe another rifleman unit to um, or another of the other units if I just go back in and, and acquire. So this is now I can tell them where to go. So we want to go and, um, and go to the Germany location, our starting point. Went to acquire. There's no other heroes we can bring in. They're all allocated. No level ups we can do at this stage. So, um, so bring in. I want to bring in another one of these. I want two of these um, rocket uh, transports. So I'll just go back into uh, info. Go back to acquire. Mortars can be useful. Um, machine guns can be very useful. 
Now that's going to be that'll be enough for me to. Oh, let's grab the machine guns and um, buy those and build it and grab a second one of these rockets. There we go. That'll do us. Deploy. So they'll be there next turn, and then we can start to uh, rattle across this other side. Now the other bits and pieces that we have. Sniper's moving. Grenadiers awaiting orders. Move, move, move. What are your orders, sir? Repositioning as ordered. Tank crew awaiting orders. Advance. Actually, look down that uh, other other side. So that does give me a um, a range down through there. I just don't quite have that one there. It's going to be slightly off. It's funny the um, the range is just one off ultimately. If I can move to there with, with an extra extra level of of um, distance, so I would then be able to take that one out using this vehicle. Uh, that one's done. Grenadiers reporting. For the fatherland. Bring them through. I actually like those cutscenes personally. It's um, just it sort of suits the game. Transport awaiting orders. Yeah, well, they come after the uh, the eighty-eight. Here to deal with enemy armor, sir. Target put out of action. What a small sliver. Successful hit. Whoa. There's some sort of reaction fire from somewhere. We didn't see it. All right. Well, time for you to get out of there. Run away. What's our destination, sir? Engine warmed up and ready. Oh, we can't do it. We can't do it. Okay, we're likely to lose that one, but I don't know where that one came from. It's a battle. Hit. Artillery ready. It's just outside the range of the artillery. Um, Armored transport awaiting orders. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to offload these guys. Artillery waiting for orders. We're going to load these on board. Give us a command, sir. Moving to position. And reposition these into the middle of the map. Ready to deliver our troops. Armored transport awaiting orders. Oh, we can't drop off just yet. Waiting to rain down hell. So again, we just offload. Artillery ready. Give us a command, sir. This artillery is more important. Hold tight. I love the look of it. Actually, it's it's uh, for a war game style, no, turn-based sort of war game. You don't see this level uh, much at all. Awaiting your orders, sir. Affirmative. Tank hunters ready to deploy. Move. Let's go. 
All right, all right, all right, that's good. Um, we are dominating this. Just stay in the uh, tree line. Grenadiers awaiting orders. Move, move, move. What are your orders, sir? Repositioning as ordered. Grenadiers reporting. For the fatherland. Oh, it's gone. Heavy panzer awaiting orders. Into battle. Crush them beneath our tracks. Enemy position located. Yeah, that was a critical hit that it got. So with this one here, if we just get a normal hit, we've got a 50% 50, 50 chance of getting a normal hit. Um, and really, it's um, the return fire, it doesn't do enough damage against our unit. So we should be able to wipe this one out. <laughs> Was that a leg? Yeah, it's, it was a critical hit that came back, but it was reflected off our, our superior armour. There we go. Right, that's good. Um, now, we've lost... Uh, who did we lose this in this case? The commander was killed in action. That's going to stop our spotting to a degree. All right, so we can now start to move up into that position. Tank crew awaiting orders. Once in a good position there. This one needs a bit of a worry. But it is awaiting orders. All right, everyone's moved. Now we begin. Oh, they didn't take us. Reinforcements have arrived. Okay, we're now seeing other units. Ready to deliver our troops. Heading out. It should be pretty clear uh, just in this area. Artillery waiting for orders. A warm up. Miss, recheck target coordinates. Armored transport awaiting orders. Moving to position. Waiting to rain down hell. This gives us the range across the whole map uh, where we are here. Anti-tank ready. I just don't like that we Enemy ended up with ready. the um, with things firing back the other way. We don't know what this is. Artillery ready. Just a warm up. Heavy Panzer awaiting orders. Let's bring this one through the forest. What did the enemies move? I don't know, actually. They, they, um, they were in my previous game. Um, now, we've got this unit in through here, which will be an anti-tank gun. I think that they're building up to protect this, but they're not going off and getting what they need. It's sort of weird, actually. Very strange. Now that one's already fired. Waiting to rain down hell. Hang on, so they both fired. They have both fired. Give us a command, sir. Hold tight. 
tight. Use the rockets. Tank crew awaiting orders. Into battle. Oh, I should have done the reverse action. Leave that one with what that is. Our Down, that's good. Ready to deliver our troops. Go back for the other troops. Heading out. Tell us where to deploy. Yeah, I'd have to say that the AI is poor, like in, in the fact that it's not moving. It's just sort of it's still a fun game, but it's just um yeah, they're just waiting, waiting to, waiting to die. Heavy pans are ready. Crush them beneath our tracks. Well, I think if anything moves down through there, we've got them. Move, move, move. Grenadiers reporting. What are our targets, sir? Let's hunt. Grenadiers awaiting orders. Let's go back in and grab more units. Um, it's funny you also can't buy transports on their own. Let's buy another one of those, and this time we'll grab another one of these rockets. MG squad ready to deploy. That's all they can do. Now we begin. Artillery ready. Here to deal with enemy armor, sir. A hit. How about another? Destroyed. Heavy Panzer awaiting orders. Enemy spotted. So still at this one here. Artillery waiting for orders. Just a warm up. That should wipe it out. Just a warm up. It's still going. Waiting to rain down hell. We're seeing it. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're not moving off at all. I don't know what's going on here. It's destroyed. Tank crew awaiting orders. Advance. Enemy position discovered. If they do more damage than that. Into battle. Crush them beneath our tracks. We have found the enemy. We can do more damage than that. Yeah, so it's just deflected off this one here. Advance. Anti-tank ready. 
Transport awaiting orders. Right, we need What's to our destination? This one up somewhere. Heading to that position. into that position. Must be a bug. Yeah, it's sort of weird, actually, isn't it? Um, it is strange. Moving to position. your orders, sir. Moving MG to there. Give us the command, sir. Ready to deliver our troops. Hold tight! Find us some tanks to kill, sir. As you wish, sir. Just move these up. Right. Heavy Panzer ready. Down in the valley when I want to do these shots. What are your orders, sir? Repositioning as ordered. Grenadiers reporting. You have targets for us? Snipers moving for the fatherland. Not identifying these just yet. Heavy Panzer awaiting orders. Well, they can move uh, the first turn that they are deployed. Uh, maybe the AI some, somehow can't work with that. They were yesterday when I was playing it. Like it was, um, they weren't super aggressive, but they were around the map. They certainly were taking objectives. I um, don't know why they're not doing it today. There's been no update, so it's the same game. I don't understand it. I mean, they did take one objective, but that was it. Now we begin. Engine warmed up and ready. Moving up. Put that one down the bottom there. Heavy Panzer ready. We can do more damage than that. Transport awaiting orders. Down to the tree line. What is our current objective? They're no longer a threat. Heavy Panzer awaiting orders. Crush them beneath our tracks. Advance. Into battle. Well. Enemy position located. Okay, there's a lot here. A lot here. Didn't identify them. Let's move backwards. Um, Crush them when you touch them. I like that. They will not be so lucky with our next shot. Just deflected. It's not going to do any real damage there, I don't think. What's our destination, sir? Transport on its way. Armored transport awaiting orders. Give us a command, sir. Yeah, we've got shots um, anywhere we like in here. Moving to position. Got the rockets. Tell us where to deploy. It's not seeing anything. Ready to deliver our troops. It is better than that. It's a miss. Armored transport awaiting orders. Hold tight.
<laughs> saying we should get that uh, bug when playing Bannerlord. So much for those liberators. Right, they're gone. Artillery ready. Just a warm up. No more misses. Reload. Artillery waiting for orders. The cowards are falling back. It's fleeing. Okay, that's good. Give us the command, sir. Heading out. Waiting to rain down hell. Enemies on the run. Cease fire. Target in That's good. Okay, so we've got enough of those. Ready to deliver our troops. Moving to position. <clears throat> All right. So they've they're in a good good spot there. Tank hunters ready to deploy. Move, let's go. Just keep that one blocking there. Tank crew awaiting orders. Advance. This one up. Yes, it seems so. Maybe if you save, um, yes, uh, save, exit, restart the game after this fight, it could snap the. I don't know if it will. It's sort of weird. It's sort of, they went off and did initial stuff. And they haven't moved since then. And actually, looking at the time, guys, I'm going to have to get going. So I think it's, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. I really couldn't show the game off uh, as good as it should be. Because the, um, yeah, certainly, certainly the AI is, is this was not a good good representation of the AI. In yesterday's game, it was um, not completely different. Like, it was still one-sided, but it was... Um, but they were moving around a lot. They were moving across into different ridge lines and um, doing stuff like that. And these just aren't moving away from the from the spawn. Uh, yeah, maybe it is something that's just a bit bit weird. Very very strange. Anyway, I do have to get going. So it's. I mean, this has been very very one sided. Uh, we have taken a bit of damage back, but it's not not working for the AI the way that they're, the way that they're doing it. So anyway, I will leave it there. So thanks for watching. Um, I still think it's a great game. Like it's sort of uh, even with this problem, the campaigns are like uh, this will be fixed. I'm sure of it. Um, I'm, well, I hope so. I mean, it's it's easy to say that. <coughs> I know that I, uh, like coding AI to make it play well is very very difficult. Um, so um, yeah, sort of one of those things where you don't like saying, "Oh yeah, no, that's easy to fix." It's not easy to fix, but it's something that they've got to fix. Like that's really got to be that's got to be addressed. Uh, they, they need to be um, being a, a lot more aggressive. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. So thanks for watching, and uh, I should be back again tomorrow. Actually, no, I'm, I'm doing. Uh, I'll, I'll be on my um, on my Twitch uh, channel tomorrow. I've got uh, I'm playing Warlock Two uh, as part of uh, Turn Base Thursday. So uh, I'm sort of I'm doing that a little bit over the weekend. I've got uh, tomorrow I'm on um, with Warlock Two just on my normal Twitch channel. And then on Saturday, I'm back again with turn-based Thursdays playing Xenonauts 2. Anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you around.